Hey guys, it's me, the Bricks of Mandalore, back with another video. I know I've been gone for a while, but I was busy. I've uh, gone on holiday for a bit, and I've got this quick haul of sort of stuff that's arrived over the holiday and uh, sets I bought while I was there. And you're also probably curious about the background for this video and why it's so different and why there's not proper lighting. I'll go more into that at the end of the video. So, as you will have seen, the, um, this is a polybag, it's a Lego City one. We don't really get polybags that much in the UK, um, mainly because I don't really have any shops near me that would sell polybags. They'd sell like maybe a few sets. I don't have any big sort of toy shops, so I'm less likely to get that. And this basically just seems to be a fireman with fire axe, a, uh, like a little SUV quad bike looking thing which has a sort of bar on the front which might be useful for other stuff and I might review this at the end maybe it's just a small review go back to my old days of reviewing sets rather than uh, buying them and breaking them apart and building them into new and wonderful things talking about wonderful things Gallipoli new episode coming soon as you will have seen in the thumbnail, this is the other set. I got this on sale from £13 to £8, uh, which saves £5, you know, if you can do the maths. Um, it was definitely worth it, it's just a small thing. I don't have any of the LEGO Movie 2... Oh, I pulled off part of the box. But yeah, I don't have part of the, any of these LEGO Movie 2 sets. I don't even think I have LEGO Movie 1 sets, apart from some of the minifigures from the uh, CMFs. So, this is my first time with Emmett. And, yeah, the tricycle, which seems interesting. Even if I don't keep it together, it's got some fairly interesting pieces. And this little thing, some vibrant colours. I haven't seen the Lego Movie 2. I need to go check it out. I love the first one. Just heard this one isn't as good. Let me know down below what you thought of it. The final thing is the Lego Christmas 2020 catalogue. Uh, you can, yeah, so this is the back, I'll show you the front, just don't want to show any of, of my details, as this was sent out to me by uh, Lego as I've signed up for that. So it shows the new Elf Clubhouse, which I'm planning on getting, perhaps, I'm not completely sure, because I don't know how well it will fit in with my Christmas display uh, that I have, because I have the uh, train station, the train and the fire station. I didn't get the gingerbread uh, men last year and women. Uh, so yeah, it's just a regular Christmas catalogue. Shows you some of the uh, new sets with like the Razor Crest I think's in it, the AT-80, uh, the Harry Potter stuff that was released this year as well. Obviously the sort of fairly new Christmas sets. City, all of the stuff is in here so if you want to get one I'd recommend it, or you could just look on lego.com because that's easier than buying a catalogue. Now, let's review the poly bag, and after that, I'll explain what's going on in the background. So, this poly bag was £3, and it comes with a minifigure, which I don't actually have. It's got a different face, which I like it's got sort of like oil stains across him and he's got a fire axe. I do have the torso and legs I believe. But the build I sort of looks like a standard sort of quad bike you would see in a older police set. I think I have one very similar to it. But it also has um like this sort of bar on the back, uh lights, fire extinguisher, which I believe that's what the white thing is meant to be. And then it's got the bars on the front. I know the camera's really messed up. It's because the background's red for the project I'm currently working on. And the red doesn't go well together. There, that sort of con like, focused it a bit better. But, yeah, this set is interesting. And I'd say if you see it, buy it for £3 or however much it is in your country. I assume in America it's about 5 Um but yeah, it's a fairly good set. If you just want to get a cheap little thing with maybe some extra parts and stuff, 
or a different figure to add to your collection, go for it. But now let's talk about the project going on in the back. So this video has given a sort of sneak peek into the new stop motion I'm making and yes that is what this is. It is my brand new stop motion I'm working on. Um, so it's going to be Star Wars related. It won't have any sort of characters and stuff like that. It's all like my own story. It's going to be based after the uh, fall of the Empire around the time of the Mandalorian. Um, so dealing with stuff like that after the Civil War. Uh, I'll link it in with some more historical stuff as well with like tactics and stuff like that that you would normally see in my uh, World War One and World War Two stop motions and things like that. It will sort of be like a blend. And also medieval stuff maybe. Sort of, if you know the story to Macbeth or uh, Game of Thrones, imagine stuff like that. So people trying to get into power and using all dastardly ways to achieve it. But I think that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.